and welcome to another tutorial brought to you by Sergeant Major Wolf. <coughs> we have now changed the name of the site to Serendipity Tutorials. You can visit the main site, Serendipity Servers, which has just been launched. You can watch our introduction video to Feed the Beast. And I would like to also tell you all that I have already recorded this video, but unfortunately, because I'm a bit of a clumsy person, a little me, I accidentally muted the microphone and recorded this, so I have now yet to record all of this again. So, let's get this over and done with, because <laughs> I've already done all this before. So, first of all, <coughs> let's go over the town permissions. So, first of all, with your town, if you do slash town, it will come up with all of your town information. So, I've got residence switched on right now, so slash town set per off, slash town toggle explosions. Alright, okay. <coughs> My town is about to all. So, right now, I have build, destroy, switch, item use all off. Now, in order to get into your permissions, you need to do slash town set per. This will bring up a big list. Now, you've got your level, which is your resident, ally, outsider, type, build, destroy, switch, item use. And this is your basic guideline to how to use it. Using permissions. You've got your basic set perm on and off, which basically does this. <coughs> which toggles all the permissions on. And that toggles all the permissions off. Now, <coughs> with the permissions, uh, when you have permissions off, you'll have a little dash line which shows that it's off. When you have a letter, it will show that it's on. F stands for friend slash resident, A stands for ally, and O stands for outsider. Residents are residents of the town, so members that you've invited into the town. Ally is your nation allies, so if you've added any town to your nations, or if you've allied with any nations. And outsider is basically people outside of the town and outside of the nation. <coughs> so basically, if you have outsider on, anyone will be able to use anything within your town, destroy, switch, etc. <coughs> Sorry, just a bit, uh, got a bit of a cough today. Um, now, with set perm, you have different levels. You can either toggle them by doing slash set perm, either resident, ally, or outsider on, which will toggle all of the permissions on. So let's do slash town set perm, outsider, off. That will toggle all of the permissions to toggle all of the outsiders off. Or you can do slash town set perm, item use, off. So that will turn all of the item off, but keep switch, destroy, and build on. Or, if you wanted a specific one, as you can see here in the example, slash town set perm ally off, you can either do slash town set perm, uh, the level comes first, so slash town set perm item use ally on. You can do that, which will, oops. I've done the wrong way around, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, slash town set ally item use on. That will allow allies then to do different individual things. I'll do a few examples of this before moving on. You can do slash town set per resident build um, off, which will make Residents and friend, res which will make your residents. The F stands for residents within the town permissions and the plot permissions. That will make residents be able to not build, um, but it will let them destroy or switch, etc. Using this, it's basically the main permissions for your town, depending on how you want your town to be. For me, I would keep all your permissions of your town off, because then you can avoid anyone griefing your own individual plot. Now, <coughs> with plot permissions. I'll go over here for this one. Now, with plot permissions, you have individual plots. So, on this plot, we have all of the permissions the same as the town. 
But you can also toggle. Uh, oh, that reminded me toggle. You can do slash town toggle. Uh, slash town toggle toggles the public. Uh, sorry, toggles the explosions, the PvP, the fire, and the mobs. Obviously, I've already gone over this in the other tutorial for the townie, but I'm just going over it again since this is permissions after all. Fire, obviously, fire spread, it toggles what if fire, if fire is going to be in your town. Explosions, obviously, if people are going to be allowed to use TNT. PvP is not really re relevant, but it obviously toggles PvP on and off. And mobs also does the same, to lets mobs spawn in your town, so spiders, creepers, etc. Uh, I've already gone over the public text percent and open in the other tutorial, but again, I'll just go over it in case you're wondering. Public just basically sets your town so people can teleport to your town with slash t spawn. Uh, for example, Duckville, so people can teleport to the town Duckville. Slash town toggle tax percent, toggles the tax percentage, so in case of, instead of taking like $50, it will take a percentage of their money, so like 5%, things like that. Slash town toggle open, basically lets people join your town with slash t join. Uh, test town, which will just basically let people join your town without needing an invite. And with plots, you can also do this with slash plot toggle. You can toggle all the stats of individual plots. Uh, in the plugin that I am using, the town here isn't showing up the right commands for this, so uh, they will in your average server plot toggles, and they will in the serendipity server. Right now, I'm on a little private one. Uh, so slash res toggle obviously is, I will go into that later on, but right now it is slash plot toggle, uh, say for instance mobs, that will enable the plot perms for mob spawns. So now, plot per. <coughs> so now if I do slash plot perm, this will show up, uh, which will co come up with build, destroy, switch and item use, all of them off, but mob spawns are on. So now mobs spawn in this plot only, but they won't spawn in this plot over here as the mob spawns are off. Now, within the plots, you can also do the same as before. You can also do plot permissions, which will toggle and change the plots of that permission. So, say for instance, plot set perm. If I wanted the build on. <coughs> That will let the plot permission, which is 16 by 16, let people build. And if I just do plot perm over here, you'll notice that over here people can't build, but over there people can build. This is useful if you want people to have like a public farm, or if you want to use the switch command and let people access like public chests with cobble and free resources, or if you want them to access. Um, or if you want them to go mining, things like that. This is useful for more advanced permissions within towns. Now, another thing that you can also do is slash res set perm. Touch on the wrong command there. <coughs> slash res set perm is a totally other permission as your individual resident permissions. So, if you were to have a friend on your friends list, if I were to do slash res. If I had a friend added to me, um, I could let people on my friends list build on my plots, or I could let allies build on my plots. It, res is your plots that you own, so when you have plot for sale and then you plot claim it, you will be allowed to do this. My res permissions right now are turned off because I don't want anyone building or switching in my town if they're added to my friends list, or if they're added to the ally of my nation. This is important that you do keep these turned off, but if you do have it on, then you can always do slash t set friend on. Oh, that's town, sorry. Let me change that. command. There we go. Okay, now it, set, it classes as R, but it's actually friend. So it will now come up with this, which allows people on your friends list to build in your plot. Uh, with people in your building your plot, you'll, this will allow any friends you have, like trusted friends, if you're having people move in with you, and you want them to take part and join your plot, you can have them do this by adding them to your friends list. Now, to get your res permissions, 
If you do slash res question mark, it will come up with all the res permissions. Now, I'll just go through what all of this does. Slash resident space username will show up your the player that you're looking at items. So if I were to do slash res Sergeant Major Wolf, it would come up with mine saying online, last online, owner of blah da da da, da perm, PvP, bank and tip. Another thing, slash resident tax, that allows you to view how much tax you are paying. <laughs> Sorry about that, was just uh, got a message from someone, uh, just had to blur it out for reasons. Uh, slash resident uh, toggle will allow, that's not really necessary, you don't really need to know about that. But slash resident set, if I do this, all you really need to know is this one, slash res set perm. You don't really need to know mode, but if you did want to know about it, if I were to do this, slash res set mode, it comes up with different amounts of stuff. Now, this is very different. It will show you, like, for instance, if you do slash res set mode, town claim, it will, sh it will as say, it will attempt to claim as you walk, so it will claim plots as you walk along them, or if you do slash town unclaim, it will claim unclaimed plots as you walk along them. You can do these without doing the slash mode. If you do slash TC or slash NC, it will take you to town chat, where only people in your town can hear you, or slash nation, where people in your nation can hear you. And you can either, you can also do the map, which shows you the map between each town block. This is basically this, slash town in map, which I've already gone over in the last tutorial explaining what this does and how uh, you can use it. Now, again, with slash res, uh, do slash resident friend add remove resident is the online version. But if you need the exact name, if they are offline, you can do add with a plus in front of it, then space the resident's name. This will allow you to add friends to your resident, so to your character profile. So I would have like friends, say for instance, Cryptics would be classed as my friend, he would be able to destroy, build, switch an item in my own plot. Just to let you all know, if you're not clear on it, build is obviously building within your own plot, destroy is destroying within your plot. Switch is accessing chests and things like that. Item use is basically things like using handguns, using specific items like wrenches, things like that. Now, uh, I will go over the nation commands if you're not familiar with it. I think I've covered everything in the permissions for you all. If you'd like to know anything else or if you're unfamiliar with everything else, you can always ask me in the comment section below. Uh, I'm always available to ask questions. And now, slash nation. I've made a nation called slash nation, test nation, uh, sorry. I've made a nation called test nation. If I do slash nation question mark, it will come up with all the nation commands, and this will allow me to see with slash nation list, list all the nations. Nation online, list all online residents within your own nation. Slash nation leave, obviously, leave your nation. And deposit, that lets you put money into the nation bank if you feel like donating and being nice towards the nation. Obviously create a new nation with this command and slash nation king this will show up all the main king commands, so the leader of the nation. So if we do this uh, this will show up all of the nation king commands. So the nation king can withdraw money, it can add and kick a town from the nation so adding towns will add a town into your nation so it will make your nation bigger. The bigger your nation is, the more nation bonus you will get towards your plot bonus. Nation bonus is basically your individual plot so it allows you to claim more plots. Right now my nation bonus would be 10 as I am the only town within my nation. It will gradually get bigger as I add more towns to it. Uh, slash nation rank, that will allow you to add a rank to your nation, so say for instance if you wanted an assistant, you can add an assistant to your nation, so slash nation rank, add, say for instance, uh, an example, DOS Minidoc, that will add your nation to 
that will allow DOS Minidoc to be an assistant in your nation, so you can add and kick towns, you can uh, ally towns, enemy towns, etc. But you can't withdraw or set. Uh, I will go into slash nation set in a second. Slash nation ally, obviously allies your nation with another nation, which again comes into the ally perms with the permissions of the town, plots and resident. In slash nation enemy, this is basically just if you have PvP, you can add enemies into your nation, or you can do it uh, again, and it's basically, obviously, your enemies of that nation, and if you're in a server where townie wars are enabled, things like that, you will obviously be against that nation, and trying to kill them and defeat them. Uh, now, slash nation set. Slash nation set. First command, king, will switch the nation king. Slash nation set capital, which will set the capital town, so the main town, so... So, for instance, if I was the, uh, I'm the leader of Test Town right now. So, if I do slash nation set capital Test, it will set Test as the, it will set Test as the capital town, and it will set their leader of that town as the capital as the king. Slash nation set taxes will allow taxes to take money from other towns. So, if you were to do slash nation set taxes fifty. It will take fifty dollars from each town. Uh, slash nation set name. Obviously, change the name of your nation. Slash nation set title surname. Will change like little individual text, so you can add like lord in front of someone's name in your nation. Something like that. It's just a little fun thing. And last but not least, slash nation set tag will allow a tag, so it shortens your nation down if it is too long. So, say for instance, slash nation set tag. Test. Now, if I do, if I type normally in chat, it'll show this up. Test, test. So that's my nation tag, and that will show up in my chat. Uh, another thing, just quickly go over here. <coughs> slash TC changes its town in chat, and slash NC. Changes to nation chat. In this, you can talk to your nation or your town members. And in order to get that, you just type the same command they use, and it will take you back to general. And then it will take you back to general chat. Uh, that is all for now. Uh, <clears throat> so basically, if you'd like to submit or any requests for any tutorials or mod packs, you can do in the comment section below. Feel free to. I will get back to you as soon as I can with them. I will be from now on doing a tutorial roughly. Uh, every week if enough people submit more requests for tutorials or every two weeks I'll try and get them done if you'd like to also uh, comment on if you need any any help with this permissions if you are confused about anything feel free and I'll get back to you you can also email me send me a message on the inbox on the sorry dip two tutorials channel itself uh, I will get back to you as soon as I come with that also if you'd like to actually tech go and see Serendipity servers, our other YouTube channel, you can see our main introduction to Feed the Beast. It will show you basically the VIP zone, VIP zones, the shops and player builds. Feel free to go have a look at that for for us all and tell me what you think. Alright, <clears throat> thank you for watching this tutorial. I'm Soldier Major Wolf. I'm signing off. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>